Hi, today is August 15, 2021. I'm going to give you an update on Swedish model against Quad 19. And just in case you don't know what is Swedish model against Quad 19, basically uh, the model is life is more or less normal. They have normal life, have minimal interruption of normal life, and that's just a uh, very brief model in this uh, pandemic situation. And today, I'm going to cover, give you an update on this uh, quad nine cases in, and deaths in northern countries. And this data is based on what what on meter August 15, 2021. So as of today, in Sweden, there are more than one million people. Uh, suffer from this disease much higher than other neighbor countries, Denmark, Norway, and Finland. And since that low data may be not re reflect a normal situation, so this total case and total deaths was convert to one million population total cases and one million population total deaths. So among one million population, Sweden have about 100,000 cases, and that is about two times of Denmark and four times Norway or Finland. It's a huge difference. In terms of total deaths in one million population, Sweden have 1,438 total deaths in one million population, and that is about three times of Denmark and eight times Norway or Finland, that is a huge difference. Based on this data, um, we can say that Swedish model is basically fail, failed. And however, today when I review the data, it's something pretty interesting. And this data just show quite 19 daily new cases in these four countries. And you can see in Sweden, Basically, right now, the slight increase, but it's less than 10% of the peak. On the contrary, in, Sweden, in Finland, uh, recently, they have a huge spike. And that's, this is highest since this pandemic occurs around the world. And I did some research to say because this is a a special cases uh, because the funds in Finland went to Russia to watch this uh, Finland and Russia soccer competition. This is a 2020 European Cup. Most of cases is from the funds went to Russia. Maybe that's the case, but we, we need to wait and see to see if this is uh, really impact the entire uh, epidemic trend and another case in Norway and about 50% of a peak and for Denmark is also about 30% of a peak so in this case the new cases the daily new cases Sweden looks like have lowest one among four Nordic country and of course it's just kind of a a phenomenon may not get any congruitive, congruitive results or conclusion on what may happen to the overall epidemic of the of illness. But that may be the indication that Swedish ways to deal with the pandemic may, may be right because right now they may be reach some kind of a herd immunity. That means the population already, most people already exposed to this quad 19. So that's why they have much, much strong immunity against virus. Another case is that people infected with virus will get much, much stronger immune response. And so that's why they have more, much, much uh, good antibodies or T-cell immune response to this virus infection. 
and that's kind of natural immunity or natural herd immunity group. And we just need to wait the, the entire pandemic, uh, end of an entire pan pandemic to see the final results. But, but maybe it's too early to judge that this is a Swedish approach to deal with this COVID-19. And it's not in the health book, history book yet. We may need to wait until the end of the entire pandemic when we look back this possibility that Swedes may make night decision because they let this water spread. So people get natural infection, maybe to have a much stronger immunity against the virus. And that natural immunity will prevent Swedes from getting any other variant. And that will be very, very exciting to see again. And the Swedish model will be one nice model for us to start this potential pandemic of the of COVID-19. And that will be huge, huge benefit to the entire world to see if this uh, the next method may be in the end may help us to prevent this virus from spread, may, may help us to fight again, fight fight this virus so we can win the war. But again, and um, history will tell us tell us the truth. We need to have time to wait the final final results. And that's video for today. I wish to see you in my next video. Thanks and bye.